John Fedro here with mobilehomeinvesting.net and right behind me you can see the calendar year starting from where we are going from fall to winter spring and then summer right behind me we're gonna talk about that take a sort of a bird's eye view of what you can expect even if you weren't investing in mobile homes what are the buyers and sellers doing what are their mentalities during this time of the year because let's face it mobile home investing should be at 365 day of the year business to some extent. I mean, I know it is in my business and it is for most people that I work with. So with that said, there are things to be aware of. Now, after we get that bird's eye view, we talk about these four seasons, then we're gonna talk about how that relates to you as a mobile home investor, some tips for buying and selling, what to look out for, and again, to save more money, to keep money in your pocket, um, simply because you didn't know about certain things. But this video is gonna clue you into those. I'm gonna say, listen up, you know, pay attention to this a few times during this video. You wanna pay attention to the whole thing, but especially during these points. So let's get started with fall, uh, making this video. That's currently where we're in. School is back, the holidays are approaching, and the average buyers in the market, the ABIM, uh, is going down, just on a downward trajectory. There's still buyers in the market, there's still sellers that you know have to sell, they're getting pushed out by the community, or they can't be there any longer, they don't wanna be there any longer, so there's still sellers looking to sell, and likewise, there's still buyers coming into the area from out of the area, selling from one place, going to another place, their lease is up, and they want to move and actually own a home instead of renting. So a number of different reasons, but there's still definitely buy and sellers in the market, but it is going down uh, with the numbers of active buyers in the market looking uh, that will purchase a home from you. So keep that in mind. Now, winter comes. So winter is the November, December, January, and these are the holiday months. Now, especially in November, December, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, I pull most of my marketing because it simply stops. It virtually dries up during these uh, weeks. Again, um, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year's typically just stop. So I typically pull most of my marketing, and that's gonna be very something important to understand here in just a bit. Uh, the cold weather, again, if people don't have to move during the cold weather, they probably aren't going to want to. So that's gonna stop some people from moving right there. They're gonna pull their listings from online. They're gonna not sell their home if they don't have to. And then the main thing to remember is is that the average buyers on the market is still going down. If there's a slowest time of the year, it's this really cold, dark, you know, end of the year. Just, I just mean dark because there's less daylight hours in the, in the um, day. But then if there's a downtime, it's definitely during the winter. But we're gonna talk about that and what that means to your business here in just a second. Uh, next is spring. So when the springtime comes around, especially, uh, the second week in January, you'll notice things will pick up. People will kind of, uh, sh you know, shake off their, their winter hibernation and, and crust out of their eyes. And they'll say, you know, well, I got to go back on with my life. I got things to do. Uh, taxes are obviously coming up uh, or people are starting to get their taxes in spring. So people will have more money. Uh, we're going to talk about that. That's a pro. That's also a con. Now, holidays are over. And again, time for life. That's people's mentalities. And then, of course, the average buyers on the market are ramping up. If you were holding anything going into winter, then it's probably going to be sold the second, third, fourth week of January uh, because, again, there's just more buyers in the market. It's not that your home, there was something wrong with it. It was priced not correctly. It was priced accurately. There just weren't, there were like 10% amount of the buyers in the market right here as there are spring and summertime. Now it's just ramping up right now. It's not at its full throttle just yet until we get to summer. Hope you like these graphics, by the way. <laughs> so now we're at summer. Uh, school is out. Families are moving um, and some still have their tax money. But if there's like a, a hot time of the year to be buying and selling where there's just not that much resistance, we kind of, you know, this is where we, we set our bar for how quickly we can resell a home. Not because of the fact that homes are just better in the summer or they show better in the summer or people will pay more money in the summer. It's just because there's way more buyers typically in the market looking, active buyers. I don't want to just, just, just say buyers, but active buyers looking. So the summer is going to be the time when there's just really not too much resistance at all. Now, right now we're in the fall and we're going into the winter. So it's important to know. I really want you to visualize. Listen up. This is very important. Visualize yourself buying a mobile home, thinking it's a great investment, knowing that you can sell it for in 30 days because, hey, in summer and spring, you can sell them for 30 days. But going into the winter months, you're going to have to compensate 
because there's just a lower number of buyers. Now let's talk about state to state. We have snowbirds, that's the affectionate term to, uh, for people that they travel from the northern states down to the southern states where it's warmer during the winter season. So they spend six months in the south, maybe six months up north, and they are in like, you know, the good wet weather. They're not too cold. So with that said, in those hot spot areas where tourists flock, parts of Arizona, parts of California, parts of New Mexico and Texas and Florida, uh, even Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina to, 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 to some extent, you have those meccas where people will flock during the winter times. Now, a lot of times that sees, that's uh, senior type buyers. So if you're a mobile home investor looking at purchasing inside mobile home parks that are for seniors, you know, buying those homes and then reselling them to seniors, you may actually have an influx of people during the winter time. So I just said buyers are going down. That's only for family buyers. So if you're loving senior parks and you want to be involving, uh, investing inside senior parks, keep in mind that during the winter time and the fall time, these are both hot times to be investing because you know that during the winter time, even the uh, partly the spring, but the fall as well, you have the snowbirds coming down from the northern states uh, to wanting to obviously, hopefully being purchasing your home, uh, either with payments, with bank financing, or with cash. So I hope that that made sense. Also in the winter time for cold states where it freezes, make sure you understand weatherization and winterizing your mobile home. If you buy a mobile home during the winter time and it's sitting vacant, uh, are the pipes broken? Was it properly winterized? Winterized is when it's prepared, a home is prepared, whether it be a mobile home, a single family home, uh, even a car to some extent, um, when you're going ahead and when the, when the home is gonna be vacant. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that antifreeze is pumped in the pipes or that the pipes are at least they're blown out with air so that all the water inside the pipes uh, is gone. And there's a few other things you want to do for, for winterizing your home. We cover that on another video. But it's important to know just uh, sort of bird's eye view that obviously if you're buying a home in a cold state, was it vacant during the winter time? Okay, was it properly winterized? Well, that's something to consider and put in your due diligence before you actually purchase the home. Now, this has been behind me, uh, tips when purchasing. Now, I don't want to talk about tips when selling because let's face it, no matter what time of the year, we're going to blitz the entire market so that every possible buyer that's looking for a home currently, today and tomorrow and the next day, every active buyer, we want them seeing your message. Not only do we want them seeing your message with online marketing, with offline marketing, with a combination of both and even other um, kind of commonplace and then unorthodox type of marketing, but just blast the market. Everyone that's currently looking right now, today, they should be aware of your home for sale and the home and the price and term should be attractive. Now the home might need work, but the price and terms will reflect that and it'll still be attractive. So all the time we're selling an attractive home for a good you know, retail price, we're typically selling it for payments. You can sell it for cash or bank financing if you choose to, or choose to sell it for payments. Make sure that everything is correct and you're above board with the laws and regulations uh, for owner uh, seller held financing. So let's go ahead and talk about these tips. Now we're not gonna talk about selling, remember, because with selling, we wanna do the same no matter what time of the year. And that's offer good deals to good people and just blitz the market completely, just saturate the market and let people know what we have for sale. Now remember though, that in the winter months and in the fall months, things are going down. So I really want you to close your eyes and imagine paying for a mobile home, it was a very good deal, and now you're waiting and you're waiting again, and you're showing the home every here and there, and there's just not that many people walking through. Your seller has taken the money that you've given them, and they've gone, they've left, they've moved on, and now you're sitting there with a mobile home you thought was going to sell rather quickly, and now you're paying a lot rent, after a lot rent, after a lot rent, for one, two, even three months, which let's face it, as a mobile home investor, we're hoping to sell our homes in 30 days or less. Shouldn't be any reason that we shouldn't if we know what our buyers are going to buy in our local area. And we've done our proper due diligence to make sure that the home's attractive, the park's attractive, we know our buying and selling market. So let's talk about now when we're buying a mobile home. We want to account for an extra 90 days to sell. Now 90 is three months. I like to say two or three months, but on this video I want to be conservative. So when you're making your purchase offers to sellers, 
Make them with the understanding that it could take another two or three months to sell this home. In fact, in most cases, it may. And if it doesn't, then great, that's just extra profit for you. But it has to, you have to you know, relay that. Listen, you are going to be sitting on the market here. And I'm mainly talking to people that, have, that are not mobile home investors. Because if you have been doing this for a year, you completely understand just what I'm talking about. And this is a huge you know, public service announcement because I don't want you paying an extra $1,000 for a home that, that is just sitting there. Or a home for another $1,000 to repipe a mobile home because it wasn't properly winterized. So understand that when you're buying a mobile home in the fall, little arrow going to the fall and the winter months, account for an extra two to three months when selling. That means all of your purchase offers have to be two months or three months of lot rent um, less than what they would be in the spring and the summertime. Because remember, there shouldn't be hardly any holding costs here, but there is a valid concern fall and, and winter that there will be some holding costs. Again, still want to be investing, still want to be talking to every seller, which is something I say in number two, the second tip. You still want to dominate the local area as usual. We still want to be making offers. Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, Halloween, no matter what the holiday, no matter what the time of the year, we always still, because we're business, we're professional mobile home investors, you know, listen up. That's when we want to throw our hat in the ring and say, listen, here's how we can help. Now, because of the market, because of the time of the year, because of the population, because of the home and the park and the regulations and what else is for sale in the area and a number of things, we can only offer you this much to purchase your home, Mr. or Mrs. Seller. And we can offer you this much with payments and this much all cash and this much as a combination and a few other offers that we can go ahead and help you. But again, you want to dominate that local area. So selling, we're going to still talk to as many people as possible. And then the third one, Figure on paying slightly more in the spring and summer times. Just keep aware that people will have taxes. So the pros and cons there are, yes, if you can purchase a couple homes in the wintertime, December, January, knowing that people will have taxes and have a larger move-in fee for you, then you can go ahead and account for this, have two or three homes ready, and then the second, third week in January, going into February, March, you can go ahead and sell those homes for double or triple the move-in fee maybe that we would normally attract for that home. But again, that, so that's a pro. The negative to that would be that, well, other people have cash too. So if other people have cash in the market, then we lose some of our um, advantage. And if buyers have cash, then buyers are going to pay for those mobile homes that we would otherwise typically purchase. So very important to understand that, you know, just it is what it is. We want to invest all year round. We just have to account for what we're seeing. Uh, and this has been the same since the past decade plus that I've been investing. And now that I've helped people now for the last six, seven years around the country, I've verified that this is actually correct. We're still investing. It's not doom and gloom in any phase, you know, at all, even during the, ho the holiday weeks. If you set 10 appointments and you buy a couple homes, it could still be a very good deal. So I just really wanted you to understand that the takeaways from this are to understand the year and then also understand that we need during the fall and the winter months, unless you're investing in senior homes, but you're investing in family mobile homes, uh, family mobile home parks, inside the parks, on their own private land, you want to go ahead and just make sure that you offer a little bit less when you're purchasing the home because you have to take into account two or three months of holding costs or lot rent when you purchase the home. I hope this made sense. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, please don't hesitate to comment below this video or reach out to me personally. You can reach me at support at mobilehomeinvesting.net. Thank you again for watching. Talk soon.